Hi, um, thanks for buying my DVD politics. Uh, as a little extra, um, I thought you could meet a friend of mine. I talk about him in the show, Carl Pilkington. Um, I thought it would be nice for you to get to know him a little bit better. So please meet Carl Pilkington. Alright. Alright? Yeah. Good, yeah. Look at his little roundy, baldy, monkey head. Are you getting that, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> right, Carl. A lot of subjects we touch on um, in the in the stand up and in politics in general. Yeah. Things like race, disability, sexuality, law and order, crime and punishment. And I want to go through those uh, with you and uh, find out your views on those subjects and thereby the general public getting to know you better. Uh, so let's go for it, shall we? Okay, start off with uh, race. A big political issue. Race. What do you think about race? Just. Well, they're just all the same, aren't we, at the end of the day? Good. Yeah. I mean, some of us age better than others. <coughs> yeah? What do you mean? Uh, Chinese. <laughs> well, what do you mean? They just... They age better than us. No, they, they, they age worse than us. What's that based on? Just when you see them. <laughs> yeah, but you don't know how old they are. No, but you never see a sort of a 35-year-old one. <laughs> What does that mean? You know, what do you mean you don't see a 35 year old one? Right, we're in London, yeah? yeah. It's a Chinatown. Yeah. So, I walk through there a lot. Right? And they just always look old. <laughs> yeah, but they might be old. No, they're not. <laughs> yeah, but why is he? not. What is <laughs> you can't say that, Carl. And you see some that are about, th probably about 30, right? And, and I'm not having a go, but normally, when they're about 20, they're good looking. I right. think they're alright. Yeah, see when he's 30, forget it. They just age overnight, it's like a pair. <laughs> what do you mean, no? It just what is your business? Just... Chinese people age very... That some of the oldest people, I think the oldest man in the world is Chinese, 120. Yeah, he, 100... says, he says he's 120. He's probably about 40. <laughs> I'm telling you, fact. I mean, I'm not, like I say, I'm not having a go. I like them. Keep themselves to themselves and that. They're alright. But... So that's right. race, that's done. So that's... Brilliant, that's it. We've covered race. We talk about disability in the show. What are your views on the disabled? What, dis what sort of disabilities? Well, what sort are they? Well, as soon as you mention disabilities, I'm thinking elephant man rather than just in a wheelchair. <laughs> okay. Because they get looked after, they get ramps and that, don't they? They're all right. <laughs> They're loving it. They're lo they love those ramps, don't they? No, but they can't, can't get enough of those ramps. In and out of libraries like nobody's business. There's, there's different, I mean, you know that I'm into freaks and that. No, again, I'm not, you know, it seems like I'm just, just having a go all the time. No, but not. they fascinate me. Like, what do you mean? What is a freak to you, then? Something that you look at and you go, you know, you do a double take. <laughs> Steve Merchant. <laughs> uh, just, just, just odd stuff. <laughs> Right, okay. Like what though? When was it when they used to have sideshows and that and they'd, and they'd take them out like the pinheads and all that? <laughs> Nothing's changed, has it? You know what I mean? People still like to see a two-headed kid or whatever. <laughs> Who likes to see a two-headed <laughs> That's what you mean, isn't it? You like to see a two-headed kid. There's no such thing. You don't know what? <laughs> no, there's not a two-headed kid. <laughs> Oh, is it true you carry this book round with you? This is a book, right, of the 50 sort of weirdest things in the world. <laughs> 50 weirdest It's a rundown, right? It's a rundown, it's a little chart. Yeah. Right? At number 50, don't know if you can get this, two headed fella. That's at number 50. So what's at number one? It's not two heads. What is two heads? It's not two heads. Can you see that or what? Yeah. What do you mean it's not two heads? Well, it's not, it's not, I mean, it's, it's weird, I'll give you, it's, I mean, that's not a, that's not a normal look. I will give you that. I mean, I don't think he could be sorted out with the salon. But, it's not strictly two heads, is it? But, I don't know, if you like it, that's good then, so that... Right, well, that's not, that's not like number 50 and that, there's loads of, loads of stuff in it. Just, do you want to run through some of your favourite freaks with me? Uh, just got to watch it, it's getting a bit worn out. Some of my favourites, yeah? Right, just... Normal, normal lad, yeah. He yeah. looks normal there, eh? just a nice little head. Nice little haircut on that, nice top, right? 
Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Three legs. Three legged fella. He's quite happy with it. The annoying thing is, right? Yeah. Three legs. Yeah. You know what his job was? Yeah. Three legged juggler. <laughs> What's the point of that? What do you mean the point of it? Well, he was his career's advisor there. <laughs> yeah, what should he have done? Well, he's got three legs, isn't it? So, any footballer, whatever. <laughs> jogger. <laughs> a jogger. You know what I mean? Oh, God. So, you got that in there. He's at number 23. Oh, God. There's loads of odd diseases. I mean, you were talking about, like, disabilities and that. Sometimes, it's not a disability. Sometimes just people have got weird stuff. There's, there's one here, right? Again, just normal family, family photo going on, yeah? Everyone's sort of stood around, stood around the piano with the little mate <laughs> who's got that, that aging disease. And it's not, it's not funny, is it? But look at him. Sat around the piano, singing happy birthday for the eighth time that day. <laughs> right? Just weird, really weird stuff like that. Weird, isn't it? <laughs> It fascinates me. It's not having a go. It's just just odd, odd stuff. I like odd stuff. So is that class as disabilities? Well, I'd have thought so. That's what I think of them, man. I mean, what other famous sort of freaks are they? See, I don't think they even like being called freaks. I think if you're born with an extra leg, and the uh, and the midwife says, "Well done, Mr. and Mrs. Chalmers. Uh, you've given birth to a nine-pound freak." I think. You know what I mean? The freak isn't a term that I think they use. Well, how do they break it to them? I mean, do they, do, do, do they sort of s just slip it in so they go, right, we've got one leg out, and there's the other two? <laughs> just, just slip it in that way. <laughs> how, how do they do it? It's like the Elephant Man. Yeah. You know, he's, that's my favourite film, you, you know that. Why is it your favourite film, though? It's just, it's, it's, it's brilliant film. It's, it's sad. It just makes you think, oh... You know, client got a big head. Yeah. Um, you must wake up every day and you're thankful you've got a normal shaped head. So you say that, but it's round. Perfectly spherical. What what shape should heads be? Well, they're not perfectly spherical, is it? There's not. Most people don't look like a tennis ball. So where were we? Elephant man. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's my favourite film. See, you know that wasn't his real name. You know his name was John Merrick. But the doctors did use. The elephant man as the name, so they knew what his problem was before he turned up. Otherwise, you're wasting time looking at filing systems. When they say John Merrick's coming in at three, and the doctor's like, "Oh, what's his problem?" Wasting time. They go, "Elephant man's in." They go, "Right, get some more bums in." <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Fact. Sexuality. What do you think of uh, gay and lesbian issues? Each to their own. Absolutely. Um, I mean, I, I had one working for me. Right. One. You had one, yeah. Good. Gay fella. Yeah. Do you have a name or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, it's like our doctor said, elephant man's in. I'd sort of say, gay fella in. They go, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's just quicker. Problem with him was, right? It's, it's gay stuff that he got to, whatever. You know, each to their own and that. But what? What sort of gay stuff? Well, they got what to? they do. They do stuff, don't they? But, but this, this lad, he saw his come in late, because he'd stay out late. And that's what they all do. They're always tired. That's what they do. So, okay. gays, you know, the, the gays are alright. Gays are alright, are they? Good. How important do you think education is? I haven't got that much. I'm alright, aren't I? I mean, any form of education. I don't just mean that you can learn things. You can you know can too much, though, can't you? And then you worry about stuff. What sort of thing? What do you mean? Just stuff, like if you watch the news, you start going, oh, it's a war on the map. Don't watch it. It's like, no worries. Do you know what I mean? you got Einstein. Yeah. He knew loads. Look at the state of him. <laughs> what do you mean, look at the state oh, of him? He, he, he looks a bit of a mess, doesn't he? Right. Whereas, I don't know, look at a caveman or whatever. With no worries. Fairly healthy looking, good hair. You know what I mean? They're not bald, they're not stressed out. Because you've lost a lot of hair, do you think that's from all this knowledge that's shooting around in your head? Yeah, probably. I do, yeah, probably. 
could do without you know some of the knowledge you've got on that. I think we need some evidence though. I think we want to know some of the knowledge you've got. Like what? What do you want to know? But I, I remember talking to you about the nature of infinity once, and uh, there's a lovely model that shows the nature of infinity, where they say um, an infinite amount of chimps, an infinite amount of typewriters, will um, type the complete works of Shakespeare, and you couldn't grasp that. You couldn't. Wouldn't happen. Wouldn't happen. I think you know it wouldn't happen, but you say it would to annoy me. No, because it's it works by definition because it's the nature of infinity. It doesn't matter. If the, it, infinite means if they did everything at random, just random, 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 forever, forever and ever and ever, eventually they type everything. They it, 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 it wouldn't. It wouldn't. They check. What do you mean it wouldn't? It wouldn't. There'd always be mistakes. There would be mistakes. They'd do the complete works of Shakespeare an infinite amount of times. Yeah, but do you mean they'd actually do it from start to finish? Or a chapter, they might get a chapter done, you go, right, well done. It's like, shut up, no! They know that. No! There's no, there's no feedback to it. It's just that everything being done, they will eventually do everything every time. They're, they're, they get it wrong an infinite amount of times, they get every letter wrong an infinite amount of times. It's the same monkey. It doesn't matter whether it's an infinite amount of the monkeys. Why does the other one know what the first one did? It do doesn't matter. They've chosen monkeys, not because they're thinking about it, to take thought out of it. They want it to be random. Yeah, but when they hand over, when they shift over, over the what monkey, do you mean they shift? The monkey, the monkey's done, done, I, whatever shift pattern they're on. <laughs> they're not on a shift pattern. Infin infinity. You work from now forever. That's one monkey. What difference does it make if it's one monkey for an infinite amount of time or an infinite amount of monkeys? Because you can believe it if it was if it was one monkey doing it. Because he's going to get better, isn't he, as time goes on? It's nothing to do with their consciousness. It's nothing to do with them thinking about it. What do you mean he'd get better? He'd get better if he's doing it on his own. If it's just a one monkey, he knows what he's done. It's nothing to do with knowing what you've done. It's just a random process to show the nature of infinity. With no errors. It may not it... happen. Seriously, people... I think you're winding me up on that one. It wouldn't happen. And it hasn't happened. Because we haven't had an infinite amount of monkeys. We've had years though, haven't we? There hasn't been one publication for monkey. <laughs> they've, been around, they've been around longer than us. That's what I'm saying. They've been around longer than us. <laughs> You're laughing, but I think you know. I think you know it's doesn't happen. What do you think of the old people? What do you think of their old issues? What do you mean? What do you think about, you know, but isn't it a shame that people work their life and then just get a little state pension that Oh, they do all right for themselves, don't they, old yeah. people? What do they do? Just, just potter about, don't they? Just potter. Yeah. They don't need much money. Yeah. As you get older. What do they spend it on doing? Ornaments. Which <laughs> are fading out, aren't they? Yeah. They, won't have, they won't have ornaments in a few years' time. No one buys ornaments now. So there's older people, isn't it? Yeah. Just as you get older, I mean, things are changing all the time. It's like I've said to you about old people don't have Twixes, they don't eat Twix, but they like ornaments. So that generation, you know what I mean, things change. What do you mean old people don't like Twix? You never see an old man having a Twix. You don't, you never see one eating one. Well, how would you know? Because you see them, don't you, sat about having Werther's or whatever, but you never see them sat there tucking into a Twix. I've never thought about it. Well, that's because you haven't seen one, so think about it. If you saw, if you saw a fellow eating one, you'd go, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Brilliant. Start with capital punishment. Do you believe in the death penalty? Yeah, if, uh, if they know for certain that. Well, how do you know for certain? If they say I did it. Well, people have confessed before and been lying, haven't they, to get attention or something? Why would you? Why would you lie? You might be protecting someone else. Uh, the love of a of a, a parent for their child who's committed a terrible crime might say I did it. There's loads of reasons. How, how can you kill someone? How can you make that a definitive ending when you can never know? Because that person wouldn't do it again because then they'd know, wouldn't they? What? Say if I did a murder. Yeah. You said, I'll take the rap for it. Yeah. Right? You go and get hung. Yeah. I can't do a murder again because they'll go, so it wasn't him. It was well, there's loads of no, there's loads of reasons people. Uh, uh, if you're mental, if you're a serial killer, you don't stop because you think you might get caught. So what are you asking me? I was asking you, do you believe in the death penalty? No. Well, what, what do you want me to say? I don't know what the right answer is. 
Well, it's what you think. We're having a discussion. I said, I said, if, if they've done it and that, yeah, do them in, yeah. Could you pull the rope? Could you release the guillotine? Why am I getting involved in it? Well, if you believe in it, sure you, surely if you believe in it, you should be able to stand by it. Well, what, which one is it? Which one have I got to do? What, what button am I pressing? Does it matter? Well, yeah, it's different, isn't it? Or well, you wouldn't hang someone, but you'd... So what do you do when you hang someone? You kick the stool away? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Well, it probably is, I don't know, it's probably more sophisticated now. It used to be a trap door, didn't it? So you just go like that. It's an easy gig. That's a job. That's someone's job. Okay then, okay, we're not getting anywhere in. If you had to be killed, right, would you rather be hung, beheaded, burnt at the stake, or lethal injection? Probably, uh, probably injection. Definitely. He said, so you know, you just go to sleep. What if I tell you, everything else is the same, but with a lethal injection, as he injects it, he just slips his finger up your ass for a laugh. Well, would that happen? Is <laughs> <laughs> that in small print? I've been told <laughs> that before. I'm just saying. Would it make a difference if you were going to die anyway? So you just lay down like that, like, he just injects you and he goes, okay, he's just got, he's just why is he doing that? What? Why is he doing that? Just for a laugh, why not? For a laugh? Well, yeah, if he's killing you, if you're worthless to society, why doesn't he help you? Might as well put his finger up your ass. What's it up to, what's to you? It doesn't make any difference to you, is it? You're going to die in a minute. And do I know he's going to do this? Yeah, it's a way you know. I'm not happy. So what is it then? Leaf injection with the finger up the ass. Hang him. I'm not happy with the finger up the arse. <laughs> no, you're not! But you're not, surely you're not happy being put to death. I'll just say, well, well, hang on a minute, what, what's, what, why are you putting gloves on? Why are you getting that finger out to get my arse? He maybe doesn't put gloves on. Why does he put gloves on? Well, I'm, I'm not happy with that. But it's nothing to do with you, Carl. Well, what do you have? I'd have belief injection without the finger up my arse. That's not your choice, though. You've done a awful crime. I'm not having finger up the arse. Hang me, then. <laughs> well, you'd rather be hung then lethal injection is just, just popping the finger up your ass. I don't want that. So okay, um, uh, what the other have your head cut off? You know about the, uh, are you, are you still alive for about 30 seconds after you've had your head cut off? Wouldn't have thought so. You see this, again, you know, you believe the monkey's talking away. Well, it's nerve reactions, isn't it? You're not alive as such. Well, they got them to walk, um, years ago, whenever they did the last sort of head chopped off thing. Yeah. How long ago was that? I don't know. A few years ago, right? Yeah. And um, he said to him, right, you're going to die in that. You've yeah. come to terms with it. Yeah. yeah. Have a bit of fun, right? Um, Think about uh, the arms? No, no, no. Going to do a white line on the pavement. Bollocks. How could they tell him that that's what they were going to do? So he was meant to what? Remember this and walk the white line without a fucking head? Well, that, this is what they did. Well, no. They painted a white line, yeah. right? Yeah. He said to him, right, I'm going to cut your head off. Yeah. There's the line. Have a look now. Right, so you know where it is. Carl, think what you're saying. How is, how is he going to remember it without a head? No, you remember. You, you remember. Where's the memory? Where's the memory? In his legs. Where do you think you store memory? In your fucking arms. Yeah, but if you do it quick enough, if it's like, go, and, and you... No, he's on his head. And he's, he's walking. And he walked... He'd, no, 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 it's bollocks! It's he bollocks! Did, he did 35 steps. Bollocks. It's not it's bollocks, so. though. Because it's how can bollocks. the body remember what his head was told a few seconds ago? His head's now in a basket. Yeah. The body doesn't go, what was I meant to do? Sorry, what was I meant to do? I know, I was meant to walk along. Well, you they know, did it, it was a test. Well, no, it wouldn't happen. You're talking shit again. Okay. Believe in absolute yeah. bollocks. So you with the monkeys and the Shakespeare. <laughs> That's what annoys me. It's not about monkeys, is it? It's about random. Yeah. So you'd have lethal injection? Lethal injection, yeah. I think that is best. Well, thanks very much, Carl Pilkington. <laughs>